Hello, welcome to Cooler Magazine's yoga class, specifically for surfing women, with me, Lucy Foster Perkins. Now, as a general rule, women have more flexibility than men, but that doesn't mean we can't find the strength and power we need to surf, and that's what we'll look at today. Let's get going. Start by coming to all fours. Check your hands are directly underneath your shoulders and then tuck the toes under and lift the knees off just a couple of centimetres and then back down again. Do this a couple of times to really notice how much the stomach has to engage when you lift the knees up. And that's the engagement we want to keep throughout the whole practice. From here pad the hands forward and come to a long plank. Keep that stomach engaged that we found right at the beginning. Great. And as you exhale Bend the elbows just a little bit, a little press up and then press back up again. You can do this two more times, maybe lowering down a little more with each one. Engaging the stomach, inhale, press up and then lift the hips to downward dog. Nice. Check in with your first downward dog, maybe bend the knees. Engaging the stomach, maybe padding one knee left and right and opening up in the shoulders. Great. And the next inhale, lift your right heel up towards the sky and then bend the right knee and take the right knee on a journey. So making big figures of eight, circles, maybe lifting the hip, maybe crossing the leg underneath the body. So whatever feels good. And then lift the right leg as high as it will go. And as you exhale, take the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. And then exhale, right knee to the left elbow under the body. Inhale, lift up. Then squeeze the right knee into the center. Feel like you're going to kiss your knee. Then press it behind you to find a long plank. But this time, you've got the option of taking the right heel off the ground and lift the hips back to downward dog. So that was a three-legged plank. That's an option if that works for you. And the next inhale, take the left leg to the sky. Bend the left knee, lift the hip. And then take that left knee on a journey. Maybe lift the knee up, opening in the hips, making figures of eight, circles, spirals. Use it as an experiment. Inhale, left leg to the sky. And as you exhale, left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale for the final time. Take the knee to the center, feel like you're gonna kiss your knee. And then press the left heel back to find three-legged plank. Great. Drop the foot down, lift the hips, downward dog. Take a couple of breaths here. Lifting the hips towards the sky and the heels towards the earth. The next inhale, right foot comes in between the hands. Just settle in for your runner's lunge and then take the hands above the head. Reaching the hands up and the left heel reaches back. As you exhale, bend the left knee down to the ground and can stay there or on your inhale, you can straighten it again. Exhale to bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend one more time. Inhale, straighten. Take the hands to the hips. Transfer the weight into the right leg. Lift the left heel off and find that T shape for your warrior three. Engaging the stomach, pressing the left heel back, either taking the hands to prayer or you've got the option of reaching them further forward, engage the stomach even more. Great, take an inhale and then exhale, drop the hands down to the ground. You can bend the right knee as much as you need to and let the head drop down and the left heel can reach up. And as a challenge, you can either step or jump that right foot back to three-legged plank. Careful not to hold the breath, then maybe take the next two breaths to do two press-ups. And you've got the option of taking the left leg down to the ground. So whatever's working for you, lift the hips, downward dog. Breathing deeply, checking in with your downward dog. From here, take the right knee down to the ground under the hips. Turn it 90 degrees so that your right hand, your right knee and your left foot's in one long line. Lift the left hand towards the sky. And you can either stay here or you can lift the left leg off the ground. Breathing deeply, nice. Looking up towards your left fingertips. And then taking the leg back down again. You've got the option of also joining the right leg. So you've got two long legs. Lift the hips up as high as you can. Maybe the left hand can come towards the front of the mat. 
right or maybe even the left leg will come off the ground keep the breath going lovely and then drop the left hand back down knees come to the ground chest and chin reaches down inhale lift the heart to cobra and as you exhale tuck the toes under lift the hips downward dog checking in with your downward dog again keep the breath blowing on the next inhale take the left leg in between the hands settle into your runner's lunge and take the hands above the head so you reach up and again you've got the option of bending the right knee down to the ground keeping it there or inhale straightening it exhale to bend inhale straighten one more time exhale bend inhale straighten then take the hands to the hips transfer the weight into the left leg right heel begins to reach up towards the sky find that warrior three options of taking the hands to the heart maybe taking them in front of you as they reach towards the front great engaging the stomach and keep the breath blowing and then dropping the hands down to the ground bend the left knee if you need to right heel reaches up great and then either stepping back to plank or jumping the left leg back keep the right heel off the ground to find three-legged plank and you've got the option of doing a couple of press-ups just to get the shoulders going great and then lift the hips, drop the heels down to downward facing dog. Breathing in and out through the nose here. Then on your next inhale, drop the left knee down to the ground, turning the leg 90 degrees, so that the left hand, left knee and right foot are in, in one long line. Right hand reaches towards the sky and you've got the option of taking the right leg off the ground. Nice, engaging the stomach, pressing the right heel towards the back of the mat. Either staying here or maybe joining both legs in one long line, lifting the hips up towards the sky, the option of having the right hand reach towards the front like a big rainbow, or even taking the hand towards the sky and the right leg can reach up as well. Great, and then dropping the hand down, long plank, and dropping the knees down to the ground, chest and chin. Inhale, lift the heart to cobra, and exhale, bring the chin down to the ground. Inhale, come up a little higher, squeeze the elbows together, exhale down. Inhale one more time, putting a bit more pressure into the hands, drop the shoulders away from the ears as you exhale, come back down again. Interlace the fingers behind the back, draw them back towards the heels, squeeze the legs together as you inhale, lift the legs and the heart up, so you're making that bowl shape. Great, this will really help with your paddling muscles for your lower back. And then relax everything down, let the head drop down. Put the right cheek onto the ground. Maybe wiggle the hips from side to side. Just releasing the lower back. Great. Then you've got an option of doing that again. Or you can take hold of the outside of the feet, squeeze the knees together. As you inhale, push the feet into the hands, lift the heart all the way to your bow. Keep the breath flowing, take a deep inhale, and then exhale down, let everything drop down. Wiggle the hips from side to side, put the left cheek on the ground. Nice. And take the hands either side of the ribs again, lift the heart to cobra, and then lift the hips back to your tabletop. Tuck the toes under, take the knees off, Maybe rock it forwards and backwards a little bit. Notice that stomach as it engages. Great. Inhaling, arching, looking up to the sky. And as you exhale, curl the back, looking towards the stomach. One more time, inhale, arching. And as you exhale, drop the hips back towards the heels. Let the head drop down and release everything down into child's pose. Taking a few breaths here. Checking in with the body, relaxing the shoulders. Then slowly begin to pad your hands back up towards your knees. So you're sitting back on your heels and just for fun, we're gonna finish with a detoxifying lion's breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth and sticking the tongue out. <sighs> Inhale through the nose, 
exhale one more time inhale this time cross the eyes nice one good job great well done my website has more yoga classes for surface if you want to check it out at lucyfosterperkins.com stay cool